Sapling offers different master clock models with a variety of optional features and upgrades to meet a diverse range of applications. When configuring your master clock, certain settings are mandatory, while others are optional. This video will serve as your guide through programming all mandatory settings, including mounting the master clock, connecting to the network, accessing the master clock's web interface, setting the GMT or UTC offset, setting daylight saving time, configuring internal NTP time sources, and configuring static IP address. Since there are many master clock models available, make sure you know the specific master clock model that you have, including any optional features in order to properly configure its settings. You can verify the master clock model you have by identifying its part number and description along with the specifications and manuals available on our website at www.sapling-inc.com resources. It is important to set the master clock before you install any secondary clocks. There are three different methods you can use to configure your master clock. The first option is to program the master clock using its front buttons. Depending on the model, sapling master clocks come with either two push buttons or a keypad for on-site programming. The second option is to set your master clock by connecting it directly to your computer using a crossover network cable. The third option is to set your sapling master clock from anywhere on the same local network using its built-in web interface. This video is geared towards setting your master clock through its built-in web interface. For programming instructions using the master clock's front buttons or a crossover network cable, please review your master clock's manual. Mounting. Sapling offers a surface mount master clock that will be installed on the wall or a rack mount master clock to be installed in a network cabinet. Rack mount master clocks with a transmitter for a wireless clock system include the master clock body to be installed inside the network cabinet and a transmitter box to be installed on the wall and above the network cabinet to avoid signal shielding. Connecting to the network. After mounting, connect your master clock to the local network using a standard network cable. Confirm that your network firewall ports 80, 123, and 1777 are open on your computer and network firewall to allow the master clock to operate on the network and power your master clock. The master clock is configured to DHCP by default, but can be configured with a static IP address as well. Once the master clock has access and can communicate with the network, you can then access its built-in web interface for easy configuration. This will allow the master clock to receive time data from an in-house NTP time server or from third-party NTP time servers as long as internet is available. If you have a master clock with a GPS receiver, follow the instructions in your manual to confirm that the GPS antenna and the GPS cable have been installed properly. Accessing the web interface. First, find your master clock's IP address by pressing the designated buttons on your master clock's front panel. Then, enter the IP address into the address bar of your preferred web browser to access your master clock's web interface. GMT or UTC offset. After logging in using the password provided in the manual, Begin by setting the GMT or UTC offset for your local time zone under the System Settings tab. 
For example, New York City is minus 5 hours GMT. For time zones that use a half hour or 15 minute offset from GMT, enter this time in seconds into the bias seconds field. For example, for a country with a GMT offset of plus 5 hours and 30 minutes, the user will enter plus 5 as the GMT offset and plus 1800 as the bias seconds. Press Submit to save the settings. Daylight Saving Time Click on the DST tab to configure local daylight saving time. You can set daylight saving time by the day of the week in the month, by a specific date, or by the rules of a specific country. For regions that do not observe daylight saving time, please make sure to select None. Press Submit to save the settings. Now check your master clock's front LED display panel to confirm that it is showing the correct local time. If your master clock has access to the internet, it should be able to automatically acquire the time from preset NTP time servers at this stage. If it is not receiving accurate time from an NTP time server or from the optional GPS receiver, the third or fifth circular LED dots on the front display will blink to indicate a time communication issue. If this is the case, please consult with the manual. This completes the standard mandatory settings that must be set in all sapling master clocks. Depending on your application, you may need to configure additional settings. Two common additional settings are configuring an internal NTP time source and setting your master clock to a static IP address. Configuring internal NTP time sources. As shown in the NTP Servers tab in the Master Clock's web interface, each sapling master clock comes pre-programmed with the web addresses of 10 NTP time servers from around the globe. If you would like your master clock to take the time from an in-house NTP time server, select and delete the first address listed. In its place, Put the IP address of your internal NTP time server, then uncheck the Rotate Servers box at the bottom of the page and press Submit to save your changes. Configuring Static IP Address Is your master clock providing time to an IP POE or Wi-Fi clock system? Did you select a master clock upgraded to act as an NTP time server? If so, you must set your master clock with a static IP address to ensure the master clock's IP address will not change and all IP clients will always point to the correct IP address. To do this, click on the IP tab in the master clock's web interface to access its IP settings. Change DHCP to off and enter a new gateway IP address. Subnet mask IP address and DNS router address as provided by your network administrator. After pressing the submit button, restart your master clock, which will now be accessible at its newly designated IP address. Depending on the clock system you selected, you may need to configure your master clock to synchronize the secondary clocks in your system. Please consult with your master clock's manual for these additional mandatory settings. For instructions about configuring common optional settings, such as event scheduling, please review the Sapling Master Clock Advanced Programming video. If you have any questions, please contact your dedicated Sapling representative.